Drasti. I am Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in Dev2 Chrome 119 and 120. Heads up, it's time to take action. Third-party cookies are deprecating soon. Chrome will start disabling them for 1% of users in early 2024. Don't worry, we are here to help you prepare. First, let's head to the DevTools Issues tab. See this cookies warning? Expand it to review the cookies on your website that might be affected. Now, don't panic. We got a comprehensive guide that walks you through auditing your cookies, testing for breakage, and migrating away from third-party cookies. Check out this link and share it with your colleagues too. Plus, we are building a nifty DevTools extension to analyze cookie usage in real time during browser sessions. Here is a sneak peek. Remember, proactive preparation is key to a smooth transition and a happy user experience. Let's get ready together. If you have private CSS source maps, you can load them manually to help with your debugging, especially during production. For example, you build a web page with TypeScript and SCSS. They are transpiled into JavaScript and CSS alongside two source map files. It is common to not deploy source maps to production. However, that makes debugging harder because it is challenging to read minified code. You can right-click to add a source map. This makes debugging of CSS easier. Did you know that the same feature was available in JavaScript a long time ago? Put your answer in the comments below. Yay! No more accidentally jumping into the node modules during debugging. You can stay focused on your code. This is a React application. When you set an event listener breakpoint to debug the button click, it will jump straight to your code. That is because DevTools now ignore the node modules by default. If this ignore feature were not in place, you will first jump into the React code during debugging which might surprise you. You can configure the ignore list anytime in the setting or simply right-click on a file or a folder. Learn more about the ignore list settings in this link. Do you trust this code? Don't paste that in DevTools if you don't. Hackers might use the script to do malicious stuff like stealing your bank details. When you attempt to paste code in the sources or console, DevTools shows a warning. This is a one-time warning for new DevTools users. To proceed, type allow pasting. Next, scrub animation easier with these two tiny enhancements. In the animations tab, select and replay an animation. Click anywhere on the timeline header to set the playhead. You can resize the name column to view the full selector name too. Previously, you couldn't resize the name nor set the playhead. You needed to find the playhead and drag it. That was inconvenient. To learn more about the Animations tab, go to this link. If you frequently debug video and audio, you might want to enable the new media batch. In the Elements panel, right-click on any node and select Batch Settings. Enable the media checkbox. Cool. Now, when you inspect a video element, you will see a media batch next to it. Click to open the media panel for advanced debugging. If you want to learn more about media debugging, visit this link. Finally, it's time for a bonus tip. Have you heard of the term paper cut bugs? It refers to those usability issues that may seem minor, but can be quite frustrating during your development workflow. Let's look at these two paper cuts related to how you inspect JSON data in DevTools. There are a few popular JSON subtypes. For example, Google Search support the JSON LD structured data format. Previously, DevTools did not support these variants. With the recent updates, DevTools highlights this subtype syntax correctly, and you can even pretty print them. Not only that, even when they are minified and embedded within a HTML page, the sources panel still prettifies them correctly by default. This is good news for those who frequently debug JSON data. Do you have any paper cut bugs you'd like us to tackle? Tell us in the comments below. All right. That's all for today. Head over to our blog and explore all the latest updates. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ciao.